So a few weeks ago, we met Dr. Rob and he talked about looking after your dogs, giving them the right diet, what the right balanced diet is, and all sorts of other great tips and tricks. Anyway, personally, I walked away so empowered and inspired and I actually want to know more, like what other things can I do to make sure my dogs are happy, healthy and live a really long life. So we've all driven out here together, Giuseppe, Sophia, Rocco and I, and I want to ask Dr. Rob more questions. And this video is proudly sponsored by and a collaboration with Baxter's. Dr. Rob, your advice that you gave me the other week was so helpful and I walked away feeling so empowered as a pet <laughs> owner Good. and I guess the leader of my pack and I wanted to come out here and see you again and ask you for some more advice, things sure. that I can do at home that will help keep dogs, you know, continue on keeping them happy and healthy. I think if you're going to use treats like this, they're good, mm -hmm. but don't overdo it. Yeah. And they're part of the diet. Yes. They're not optional extra, they're part of the diet. And we've lost a little bit of weight, and yeah, he's, he's got a really shiny coat now, so I'm really happy with him. We're going to continue on his, you know, measuring his food yes, and not cups. too much, yeah. less, less is best yes. for him, and just making sure that he doesn't put on too much weight. And someone said to me, when you give a dog a treat, you shouldn't just give them to the treat, they should do something like they yeah, should shake mean, or like sit or lie down or like something yeah. that actually rewards that behavior. Yeah. Using treats is positive reinforcement. It's always a, a good thing. And training is about positive reinforcement. Yeah, I do have usually a word that if they're doing something bad, I can say no. Mm -hmm. But then if I said no, I'll make them do what I want them to do and mm -hmm. praise them. Okay. Always finish with praise. Okay. Always be positive in training a dog. I would love to know like how to give my dog at home health checks so I know you know what to look for. I always tell people, look at the gums. The colour of the gums is important. You want you know, beautiful pink gums. When he's sick, they will be either very, very purple, it's called injected, or worse still, they'll be really pale. Also, if you press on the gums, it's white. But see how it quickly goes back to pink? Pink, yeah. That's normal. It's got to go back in, in two seconds or less. Mm -hmm. Check the, the conjunctiva. That's the part. See the pink bit underneath? So that's yeah. nice and pink. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And the white of the eye should be just that white, mm -hmm. not yellow. How do you know if you're feeding your dog the right amount of food? What is the right portion size? Because I have a bad habit of overfeeding my dogs. Yes. You've got to look at your dog's metabolism and see how much, if there's food left in the bowl, decrease the amount you're giving firstly. Mm. If the dog's overweight, and that's difficult to look at, yeah, they should have a nice waistline coming in. Okay. Giuseppe's getting that slow. Yeah. <laughs> so there you've got it, haven't you got just yes, you've got it already. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, keep them lean mm -hmm. rather than overweight. I love cuddling my dogs. Where are the spots, like the sweet spots with a dog that makes them just melt and relax into your arms? Where they love it is here. Mm -hmm. And of course, in between the front legs, that's a really good She's spot. She's so happy. It's a really good spot. And on their tummy, they mm -hmm. do like that area of being touched. Mm -hmm. um, along the back, you can just do that. You know, don't overdo it. A lot of people get very rough and think that they want no, they just like just to be gentle. Here, not so much. Mm -hmm. Not the top, but here, it's a natural spot for them. And it's just areas that they enjoy. Okay, well, thank you so much. It's always so good to know these things, and we so easily can forget them. But, you know, as a, as a dog lover, like these things make me feel, I guess, more in control and more, um, like, I feel more inspired to keep on doing the responsible thing, but also get better as a pet owner. Let me tell you, it's a big responsibility. if I die and come back as your pet, I'll be a happy man. <laughs> if you look after them well, you love them so much, Thank and you, you feed them properly. What more could they ask for? They're in a very, very happy home living in your place. Well, thank you. It's good to know. I do worry. <laughs> <laughs>